The hummingbird's tongue is about twice as long as its beak, so it can reach deep into a flower. And until recently, many scientists believe that the birds relied heavily on capillary action to draw the nectar through their tongues and into their mouths. Kind of like water spontaneously rising up a thin straw in a glass. But some fascinating discoveries at the University of Connecticut have shown that the mechanisms involved are much more dynamic than anyone realized. The hummingbird's tongue is actually a nectar trap equipped with a pair of narrow tubes that taper sharply. The tip of each tube is segmented into a row of flaps that are attached to a supporting rod. When the bird isn't eating, these flaps form two rows of closed loops that fit compactly into the beak. But when the hummingbird feeds, its tongue undergoes a dramatic transformation. Inside the flower, the tongue extends to make contact with the nectar. When immersed in fluid, the tip splits and the flaps on each fork systematically unfurl. Then as the tongue is withdrawn, the flaps close tightly to seal and capture the nectar for delivery into the bird's mouth. This entire process is executed automatically in less than a twentieth of a second, thousands of times a day. From flower to flower to flower to flower, this brilliant iridescent body, there's a kind of jewel-like quality that they have. This exquisite workmanship, the colors and the sound that they make. I think in some respects, the wonder of a hummingbird almost transcends language. And we respond to what we see at a level really, you could say deeper than rationality. I mean, it's not irrational, but it's almost like responding to the work of an artist. And at that level, we respond with our soul, with our emotions. What can you say? Words can't do it justice. So you just stand there and applaud. <laughs> <laughs>